Get money, not going broke. I swear if I got it, you got it. Cause I got the game in the choco. I got the game in the hella. I got the game in the hella. Mm, I got the game What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Retro Quinn, and I'm coming at you with another sneaker video. It has been a very, very long time since my last video. I have tried to switch my channel over to more of like a gaming slash sneaker type theme in which I will be upgrading my gaming channel within the next few weeks. So y'all stay tuned for that. But just to go ahead and let you all know, I didn't get a chance to cop the satin ones or the, you know, the shattered backboard satin ones. I did strike out on those, but that was expected. But I do have a pickup right here that I got about two weeks ago, I think. And I should have been got this um, review out, but I have been real busy and stuff. And I'm kind of just getting back on a schedule where I can, you know, upload content and get what you all love back out to you. So we're going to go ahead and go right into it. As you all see, this is a you know Nike box. It does have the Nike tape on it. So I did pick these up from Nike. I'm going to go ahead and unbox them real quick. And I think this may be my first official unboxing on my channel, but I'm not 100% sure, though. And once you all see everything, you may know what shoe it is. Now, this is something different, something new for me. I did get these from Nike. This was actually a very easy cop for me. Okay, you all can see here. Do have the Nike dust bag? So that will go up on display behind me with the rest of my stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the shoe out. As you all can see, we do have a size 11 and a half and a 13 in women. I'll let y'all get a good view of that if the camera can pick it up. But as you all can see, these are the shattered, or I'm sorry, these are the shadow ones. They did release a few weeks ago. Real busy, didn't get a chance to get the review out, but we have it right here. The official colorway on these will be black, medium gray, and white. And they do retail for $160. And as I did state before, I do have an 11 and a half in men, which is a size 13 in women. This is the first retro one, I think, that actually came like this that I can recall. I'm not sure whether or not they're going back to the old OG ways or not, but I do like what they've done. This, this does help a lot of the females and, you know, get a better understanding on the sizing. And if they have, you know, bigger feet or if it's a man that's looking for a female size, they have they have the box that they can refer to to kind of help them with the sizing but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the shoe i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because i know that there's a lot of reviews out already and i have been looking at a lot of reviews in which a lot of people have been saying that the quality on theirs are a lot different some some have great quality some doesn't and just from taking mine out of the box and looking at them you know firsthand I will say that mine do have great quality on them. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm looking at both of the Nike checks. This was one thing that a lot of people were saying, like the tumbledness on the Nike check was not equal on both. But I would say that my tumbledness is good. And I've also been seeing people say the inside Nike check has been different. But as you all can see, mine still have great tumbledness on both Nike checks. And we'll go with we'll go with the left shoe for the review. But I do have it right here. Retro One Shadow, size 11 and a half. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I know there's a lot of reviews out already. I'll take the shoe tree out just so y'all can get a good idea of the tumbledness and the great quality. As you all can see, got the real good plushness. As my boy DaVinci says, bounce back. So we're going to go with that. It's a good bounce back on the leather. But very soft, very, very soft leather. <clears throat> and we do have gray hints on the back of the shoe. Black tongue with your Nike Air. I'll let you take a look at that as well. And we do have black shoelaces. I'll probably be keeping the black shoelaces in my sneakers. But we do have gray as well. I may give switch over to the gray when I do my own feet for you. But And then we do have gray hints up here with the Black Wings logo inside of the shoe is white if i'm not mistaken i think the og went with a black or a dark darker gray inside but i'm not 100 sure so don't quote me on it but we do have white insides and as you all can see on the inside we do have the nike air branded in black 
with the, I think this is a, this looks like a gray sole, so we'll go with the gray sole. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the shoe itself. You know, black bottom on it. We do have the Nike Air branding on that as well. But like I said, overall great shoe. I will be adding this, you know, back to my cases with the remainder of my shoes. And this, I do love the quality on this shoe. This was a grail on my list that I needed to get add to my collection and I may end up doubling up because I, I've heard rumors that there are a few floating around and a few models and everything, but we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> but that, that, like I said, that'll be it for this review. Y'all make sure that y'all subscribe to my channel. I'm, I'm right up under 500 subscribers now. I do want to reach a thousand before the year is out. Like I said, I will be getting regular content uploaded again and y'all stay tuned for my gaming channel. I will place my Twitch down below in my description and as well as all of my social medias y'all make sure that y'all give me a follow on instagram retro queen 23 twitter retro queen 23 snapchat that boy queen that i will have all of those down below i do follow back i do try to respond to every comment i do try to communicate with all of my subscribers because i do want this this channel to grow i want this to be a you know feel feel like a family type channel like you know, if you need to come to me and talk about anything, like, don't don't hesitate to talk to me. I I will respond to everyone, and like I said, I have no no problem speaking with people. And as I stated in my some of my previous videos, whether I have five hundred subscribers or five million subscribers, if you comment down below, I will make sure that I get back with you. You know, if you hit me up on social media, I will make sure to get back with you. Now it may take some time, but. You know, since since I don't have as many right now, my response should be, you know, pretty quickly. But when I do get more subscribers and everything, I will try to keep that same energy because I know that you all, you know, want to have that connection in the sneaker community and, you know, just, just a personal connection. So that's what I'm here for. And I do want to thank everyone for watching this video. As I did state, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like the video, make sure that you share it, and this is your boy Retro Quinn. I got the game in the head